Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have got another what's the junk in my trunk episode for you. I'm going to show you guys some of my recent treasures that I have hauled from Goodwills and Salvation Armies, thrift stores, Restore, um, all of those good things. So I don't have it in any particular order. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through as I have it sitting next to me, but I've got quite a bit to show you. So let's go ahead and let's get on with it. All right guys, so the first thing I picked up was this old sleeping bag. And I'm sure you're thinking, what the world do I need an old sleeping bag for? Um, but this is actually the inside of the sleeping bag. But the reason why I was drawn to it was because of the colors. Um, it just reminds me of that vintage, you know, tartan plaid. And I thought this would be something that I could incorporate somehow in a vignette, maybe at Christmas time. Um, I have a lot of those old vintage, um, like coolers and thermoses and stuff like that. I thought it would look really cute together, kind of maybe um, on display all together, maybe outside on the porch or something like that. It was only like $3 and so I went ahead and picked it up. It actually is in really good condition too. So it technically could be used as well. I would just probably need to wash it. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up, I was really excited to find this. It's this old stool and it's in really pretty good condition. I can see maybe over the years where they have kind of done some things to it to kind of fix it. I'm not sure why they have this piece of wood screwed on here. I may unscrew that and see why it was used and just take it off. But um, if you can see, there's the top of it. It's really cute. It's like this, oh gosh, it's this like peacock, almost like a folk art type of a peacock um, painted on the top. It's a really fun red color. It was only $4.99. It's really big. So I thought this would be cute with July 4th in particular decor. Um, this would be cute just to sit around, maybe put a plant on, maybe use it on my porch. So um, like I said, I was excited to find this piece. I really liked it. I love the colors of it. I love that it was just old and banged up and definitely worn. Okay, so I love pillows. You guys know that if you are a subscriber of mine. Um, and when I find pillow covers, I would definitely prefer them just because they take up a lot less space to store. However, when you're at the thrift stores, I mean, when you find pillows that are so cheap, you just, you can't help but to buy them. But anyway, when I was at the, one of my local thrift stores here, um, their linens were in like such a mess. But if you hunt, I have found in some of those types of thrift stores, if you hunt, a lot of times you might be surprised by something that you can find, but you gotta take the time to hunt. Um, I happened to see this beautiful needle point, I think that's what it's called, um, with the beautiful tassel fringe on it, all those lovely details. I absolutely love the colors. This was just kind of sitting there and I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a great score. Um, they were $2.25 a piece. So I was like, you know what? I find it very hard to believe that the person that donated this just had one. A lot of times these pillows will be in sets. So I was determined, so I hunted and hunted and hunted and hunted and hunted, but guess what? My hunting was well worth it because I did score the other one and they are in perfect condition. So these are such great quality. I absolutely love this style of pillow. That needle point is one of my favorite things. These are usually pretty expensive if you find them at antique stores. So for $5, actually not even $5, for $4.50 total, total score. There's a couple random things that I have found. Um, I've picked up this really cute little small lampshade. It was only $1.25 and I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's like kind of like a taupey colored, almost like a beading. Um, it's super, super pretty. Um, this goes with one of those, like those, I have a lot of those taller skinny lamps that you know, you use this size shade on. I'm always looking for lamp shades when I go to the thrift stores. That's one of my things that I always um, look out for. Lamps, yes, but also just lamp shades. Even if there's not a matching set, if it's just a single one, these things can be pretty expensive, brand new in stores. And so for $1.25, I'm like, even if I don't use it right away, I always like to have these just because you just never know when you're gonna use it. And I love the beadwork on this. Okay, very randomly, um, you guys know I'm always telling you that when I go to thrift stores, I'm always checking out the seasonal aisles, the seasonal decor, because even though the season is maybe far from where you're at or far from the point in time where when you're looking, 
you can always put it up and use it. Don't neglect to look at those seasonal items. I tell you guys that all the time. So I happened to find, even though Easter has just passed, I thought these little guys were so stinking cute. It's two of them. Now this little guy right here, his little wing is a bit damaged, but I don't think it's anything, it's not really anything that's very noticeable. They do hold little candles. They were only 55 cents a piece. I just thought that he, they were just so stinking cute his little bow tie and he's carrying his little basket in the back that holds the candle and it's just i don't know i thought they were really precious i also randomly picked up a super cute little small basket um i am finding if you don't know we do have chickens and we obviously have eggs um and i have quite a bit of egg collecting baskets but i'm finding that i have some that are metal and i do not like them it's just Eggs can tend to get broken a lot easier in them. So I definitely like a softer basket, but I also like this size. I don't want anything too big. My one of my, my, actually my youngest son is the one that pretty much does most of the chicken duties here on a daily basis. And so I want to get him, you know, I don't want him to have anything huge to have to sit there and carry. So this was only, it was $2 and 25 cents, which is kind of interesting that my little chicken guys were only 55 cents. And then this was that price, but it is really cute. It's pink and green. It would make actually a really cute little small, um, Easter basket for like a little girl, but I'm gonna be using it for my eggs. Did find this super beautiful Last Supper plate. It was five dollars and twenty-five cents, which I thought was a little bit high for just one plate. But like I said, these, it's so beautiful. If you look at the colors, um, it's just kind of muted and it's got that gold detailing trim. It's in perfect condition and it's almost got like a salmon-y pink um, tone to it and, and the, like the taupey colors. I just thought it was super beautiful. Um, so I went ahead and decided because it was such a different item that I was okay with paying $5, over, a little over $5 for it. Super pretty. I'm not sure how I will use this. I actually have the other Jesus plate actually with my just plates. Um, I actually have used it before I think to eat something on and I was like, I'm eating on Jesus today, which we all should be eating on Jesus, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one though. And then I found these really super sweet salt and pepper shakers. Um, they are so cute. These would so cute for like a tea party, you guys. And you guys know I love me some Victorian tea house, tea party, feminine pinks and stuff like that. But look how cute these are. Aren't those so pretty? They're like the little roses at the very top. They're in perfect condition. Um, they look like they've kind of been hand painted and then like glazed, but they even have the little corks in the bottom. I'm not sure how old they are. You guys, I actually think I paid way too much money for these. <laughs> I'm looking at this now and the price tag says $10. I'm thinking that I thought that it said $1 when I was in there and that's probably why I scooped them up. They kind of had them in like a little, like one of the display cases. If they were $10, then I'm thinking, I probably would not have paid that if I would have realized it. Um, I don't have my receipt to like verify that or anything like that either, but maybe they are worth some money and I just don't realize it, but it was going to restore. So it was going to help out a really good cause. So I guess I shouldn't complain and I do love them. They are super, super cute. Randomly, I just found this super cute little lunch box. Um, it's a really nice size. You can see it looks pretty much brand new and I think it was only, um, I don't actually, I don't remember the price. I feel like it was only like $2 though. Um, but I thought this would be such a cute little lunch box for um, my daughter could use it. I mean, any of us, I mean, you could actually fit a couple lunches or whatever in here if need be. So I thought good price. I'm going to grab that up. Okay. So, um, I did pick up this super cute teacup and saucer. Now this is nothing like fine type of China, but it's in perfect condition. It's in perfect condition. You can see it's got that really pretty 3D like rose on it. And then the saucer has the same roses. Super cute, um, $3.25 for the set. This is just something from Teleflora gifts. So I'm assuming that someone maybe ordered this for somebody. I'm sure it had maybe some little live plants in it at one time. But um, it's actually a, I mean, you could use it 
as an you know an official like teacup or whatever but i think that it would be really cute with some little maybe a couple little succulents or air plants or something like that in it just because it is kind of a bigger size and um but i just love that little pink rose on it i'm sure you guys have heard me say that i am looking for stemware um glassware drinking drinking cups and stuff like that with different colors so that I can get more creative with tablescapes. Well, the thrift store that I was at, they happened to have this, a really pretty set of these stemware pieces. You can see it's got the green on the bottom and it's got some kind of a etched, I don't, honestly, to be honest with you, I really can't overly tell what that is. It almost looks like a lady walking with like a, like a, a shawl or something blowing in the breeze but um i thought they were really in perfect condition they were a little bit more pricier than i would like at three dollars and 25 cents a piece um i'm sure that's not a bad price like maybe compared to like you know an antique store i'm not really sure how old they are i have no idea who made these um but i thought they were absolutely beautiful i love that green and like i said this is one of the things that i have been kind of hunting for so um got a set of four of those all right guys, so I'm always on the hunt too for um, items that have like that garden vibe to them, like the outdoorsy vibe or anything like that. So, and I love pottery. So I found this really pretty pottery piece. It's in the shape of the leaf and it has the butterfly and a ladybug on it. I just thought it was so cute. This was $3.99 um, and so, I loved it. I love, I'm just, I love it. I love that glaze look. I love that green. I just love the, the insects on it. I thought that would be super cute just to like sit somewhere on a shelf or on a table or something like that. All right, so I picked up a set of, it's actually five, the melanine plates um, from the Goodwill. These were $2.99 for the whole set, but I thought they were really cute. I loved the shape of them, and I loved that um, design on them. They're so super cute with the pink. It's very shabby chic looking. It's got blue and the green. The only thing is there is, okay, so there's two of these, and then there's two of these, which pretty much coordinate with that. But then weirdly, randomly, there's this one. <laughs> so this doesn't match like at all, but it's melanine. It'd be good for at the pool, you know, taking snacks and stuff like that out there, not having to worry about anything getting broken as you're making the trip out there. So, um, but like I said, I do really, really like the shape of these. So I live in South Carolina, um, if you don't know, and I found this at the Goodwill. This was $3.99 and it is so pretty. It is in the shape, it's matted in the shape of South Carolina and it's got a, um, I guess it's like, um, I guess a watercolor, I, I guess it's, but it's birds and it's flowers. It's got like what looks to me like maybe like a magnolia flower and looks like maybe like some hibiscus, a couple of our birds. And I'm assuming, I'm wondering if one of those birds, it looks like a Carolina jessamine. I think that's how you say it, which is I think our state flower. If I'm not mistaken, do not quote me on that because I could be completely off. But um, I think the Carolina Wren, if I'm not mistaken too, might be our state bird. And I think that might be Carolina Wren on there. But anyway, I loved it. I love the colors. It's, you know, that darker blue and it's got that pink. It's in perfect condition. It is signed by the, um, the artist. It's Ruth Hopkins and it's signed to where this is like a copy, but it's also got a, her signature in pencil as well. So um, I really, really liked this. And so I think I've got a frame that will go ahead and um, will fit this. I just thought it was super cute and to show some love towards our great state of South Carolina. So I randomly found two pillow shams, but I love these because they are king sized pillow shams. You can see that, you can see they've got, they're just cream and they've got that ruffle detail. These are Sonoma, so these are a really good quality and I think I paid $2 a piece for them. All right, so I randomly found this super cute little tray. It was $2.35. Yes, it's got a bunny on it. Easter is past, um, but this is definitely something that you could just use in the springtime. It's got beautiful flowers on it. I absolutely love the colors. All right, so I found these super cute little placemats. They are just kind of like, um, what do you call that style? Like rag, rag, 
rug braided rag braided I don't know um, but I love the colors of these they were only 55 cents a piece I thought these would be really cute to add to maybe like a uh, table setting that I do on my screen porch kind of which is definitely more of that garden theme garden vibe out there super pretty like I said I love those colors I also love that style too, like those braided rugs and like the braided things and the rag rugs and stuff like that. So super excited when I found this next item. It was $10.25, but it is a whole collection, 10 records, and it's the great band era, you guys. This, we have talked about um, maybe getting like one of those phonograph machines or something like that. My husband actually found one on Facebook Marketplace. Um, that the gentleman was trying to sell so I'm gonna wait around and see if he still has it maybe in a week or so and then maybe see if he'll come down in his price a little bit I just think that that is something that is so cool I'm probably gonna laugh at me for this next one because you know if you know me at all you know that I do like some like weird unique items <laughs> so um I they had this super cool little like paper mache style um little piece of art at the Goodwill it was like brand new I think I paid I paid $5.99 for it but what was so cute about it is it's the sun and it's got the glasses on super cute but what's funny is the other side has a face as well um, it does need a little bit of help because at one time it must have played music I don't know if it's spun but it's a little bit it must I don't know if it was actually you know glued on there or whatever but I'm probably gonna have to add a little hot glue because it's a little like I said it's a little wonky um, it's it, it doesn't want to sit real still because like I said, it's just loose, but no big deal. I loved it though. I just thought it was so just weirdly cute. <laughs> like I said, I love stuff like this. Um, I love the colors. Of course, yellow is one of my favorite colors to use in the spring throughout my whole entire house. So I will find some kind of a happy home for this sun. Okay, another thing that I found that I really liked, um, this was $2.25, is this super cute little planter. Um, it is in the shape of a teacup and it's like really old and made it almost looks like it's made out of washers um, Super super cute. I thought this would be so cute with a little pot in it and just some cute little flowers of some sort Just to sit around somewhere. I just love unique planters guys I think the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys today um, this thing is so cool. I was super excited. I actually found this on Facebook marketplace and I've told you guys before that I'm into some of like, not, not over the, like completely like saturated in it, but I really enjoy, um, like the Asian depictions, like the Asian culture and, and the, the hand painted items and the, how they use birds and, and just, like the pagodas and the art and the flowers. I love all of that stuff. Um, and so I have been getting more and more into that and getting more and more pieces. Um, and I happened to find on Facebook Marketplace, this lady was selling this. Um, it is so, I just, like I said, it is so super unique. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is 3D. Um, this, you can see how wide it is here. Um, and it looks good from both sides. I know that angle, or I'm sorry, that glare is gonna hit you guys. Um, but like I said, it looks really good from both sides. You can actually lift this up to clean it. Um, it's just like a plexiglass, I think. Um, I actually have thought about maybe painting the black part, but I think it's going to be a little bit aggravating, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I do think that this would look really good in my family room right now, but because I have my family room done for the spring and summer, I like the way everything looks in there, and so I don't think it's going to find its home in there. Um, we're actually sitting in the office right now, which I am completely redoing. I don't say, not completely. Kind of. I'm, I'm just redoing. I'm doing a whole new um, kind of another color scheme kind of going on in here. I sold a couple chairs that I had, got rid of the rug. Um, the furniture placement is still pretty much the same. I do have another piece of furniture that I added in here that I'm going to be painting. Um, matter of fact, maybe I will show you that in just a second. But um, I just, I think that I'm going to be using this just right on the desk um, for right now. Um, because I want to make sure that it's seen it because it's so detailed. It's so pretty. If you can see the birds and the pagoda and the trees, it's just amazing. All of the handcraft that went into creating this piece of art. I love it.
Um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna show you that piece of furniture that I'm talking about. Guys, so this is the piece of furniture that I was just talking about. Um, you can see it's like this very unique dresser. It's got the drawers at the bottom. It's on its original cast. It's on its original casters. It does show some damage um, right there at the bottom, as you can see, but I don't think it's anything that I can't really fix. Um, I'm thinking about maybe maybe just a little bit of like wood filler and then sanding it a little bit. I love that it's got the original circle knobs. The only knob that I'm missing is actually this one right here. So I will probably, um, I will either pull one from up here to put down here and then just replace these two. That's probably what I will end up doing. But you can see it's got this detailing in here. I absolutely love the shape of it. That is what drew me to it so much. So you can see in the bottom, it's got a couple more drawers. Um, and you could, I'm thinking about when I do display this finally, I may leave these drawers open, these doors open. I'm not sure and use this as a display shelf. I'm not sure yet. But um, it has found its home here in the office, and I do think this is where I will be keeping it. My plan um, is actually, a, I plan on doing something pretty creative with it, so I will make sure that I keep you guys updated. I think I'm going to chalk paint it yellow, and then I think I'm going to do um, some, maybe some transfers on it. Um, I have not done that myself yet, so that will be a new thing for me, but I have a vision for it, and so that's what I'm thinking. Um, and this room, matter of fact, <laughs> while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and, and show you so you'll get a little idea of what this room is changing into. Um, it is a mess in here right now, though, you guys. This is like a total mess. But um, I did just buy these two wingback chairs. They are vintage um, from a lady on Facebook Marketplace, and I absolutely love them. I love those colors, you guys. I wanted all those spring vibes in here, and these chairs totally do that for me. It's got the yellow and the blue and the green and the oranges in it. Love, love, love them. I, I mean, they're in pretty good condition. There's a couple areas of wear on them but nothing too crazy. Um, I did have these pillows, matching pillows with them, which my mom did suggest that I could actually take the pillows and make some little arm slip covers for them where, they're, where the chairs do show a little bit of wear. Not sure what I'll do yet, but um, I did pick those up, like I said, from Facebook Marketplace, and that is one of the big things that I did in here as far as changing the color scheme. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but it was it felt like very fall in here. Um, I did change out the curtain panels right there just to a kind of sheer blue and white curtain panel. Um, this window right here needs a lot of help. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I've got to paint the trim around that window, and I'm not sure if I'm even going to put any kind of valance or anything like that up there. But um, yeah, so I did kind of, I don't want to show you guys too much because I want you to make sure that you come back when I've got a final reveal, but I did change the top of this bookcase up a little bit. Just like I said, trying to make a more spring and summer vibe in here. It was so fally looking in here, um, but all of my other furniture in here is all like the wood tone, which I do not want to paint. Like my Narnia closet, you can see is like big and bold and that wood like kind of all you know but I don't want to paint anything else so I'm thinking if I paint this the chalk yellow I may paint the dry sink over there not sure yet so yeah that is a little sneak peek for you guys of how I am kind of working on the office area right now so make sure that you guys stay tuned on my channel when I am completely done I will make sure that I do a room tour um, so anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this thrift store haul I know it was a pretty big one um, Picked up a lot of good things, but you guys know me. I absolutely love thrift stores. I love thrift shopping. It's just so much fun to find treasures. So anyway, make sure if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified of when I place a new video up. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I know I say it all the time. I would love to grow over there. I have not figured out Instagram at all though. I just can't. I don't know. I mean, I don't take the time to do it either. So um, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.